My name is Mario Muller. I am a fine artist. I own a company called Urban Motif. I am a painter, a curator, an educator, and a art passionate individual. I've been a fine artist now for 24 years. I love art. Art has transformed my life and I am an artist because I wish to transform other people's lives through art. I'm represented at several galleries in New York, Chicago, Louisville, Kentucky, and Los Angeles. My paintings have concentrated primarily on form rather than feature. Thus, my paintings often depict silhouettes and shadows. When I depict a human being, very often I will not show their face, but I will show the gait, the body language of somebody. My interest in the depiction of the world around me is to make an image that makes you appreciate the world around you in a way that you might not otherwise see. I'm interested in interpretation rather than solely depiction or illustration. Primarily, I'm interested in the metaphor of life. Metaphors of how we see and how we appreciate the world around us. My creativity extends into many different mediums, but for the last six to eight years, I've concentrated almost exclusively in the medium of India ink on paper. India ink is this rich, thick, black ink, and I create all of my work with a small Sumi brush, and it's a very labor-intensive endeavor and I enjoy it. A large part of my art making practice happens in the realm of public art. In 1989, I was commissioned by the Louisville International Airport to do a 10 by 15 foot mural for the arrivals section of the airport. Since then, I've done commissions for the Kentucky Center for the Arts, various Fortune 500 companies, I work in collaboration with developers and architects, creating public and private commissions. My most recent public art installation was for the New York subway system. I did 12 glass windscreen panels for an above ground station in the Bronx, which were permanently installed in 2007. I love bringing art to a public who would not otherwise see art and experience art. I love bringing art to the masses, but I also love educating people in the discipline of seeing art. You can go to museums, you can go to galleries, and view art and have it enrich your life without ever spending a penny. I'm a rather prolific artist and I love sending my work out. There are artists who don't like to sell their work because it's their, it's their children and they feel a certain sense of kinship. Me, I create so many children that I want to place them in people's homes. Seeing my art in other people's homes is a covenant that is absolutely extraordinary. My favorite moments happen when somebody has purchased my work 10, 15 years ago and they send me a postcard and they say, oh my God, after 10 years of owning your work, I see something different in it. And for me, that means that my art has a continuing resonance in their world, a continuing relevance, if you will. In so much as I love seeing people purchase my work, I think it's incredibly important that they understand how the work is created, that I am an artist who is not just a one-time sort of art fabricator. This is a passion of mine. This will continue to be a passion of mine. I will, like Picasso, probably have a paintbrush in my hand with my dying breath. 
And I think that will distinguish me and my work from a lot of other people out there practicing work.